And uh, in this game, those who aren't ready to play, <laughs> going to get it handed to them. We got it handed to us that weekend. And I think that was kind of an eye opener for us. Uh, and then our guys started understanding the, uh, what I meant by focus all the time. And then we started doing so. And I think that win against uh, Pine Bluff last week was a real big feather in our cap. We were really um, not playing good football, wasn't taking what was out there for us. And then in that fourth quarter, we started doing so, and we were able to make some plays and uh, able to win the ball game. And so it's, it's been a combination of things. One, the main thing has been focusing on the tasks at hand instead of worrying about what happened the previous week. It seems as if your, your defense is doing a good job. Has that been the, the steady you've had throughout the year? Defense only giving up 17 points a game and shutting down some pretty good offenses. Our defense has been very consistent. Um, you know, the most points we've given up during the year is, uh, what is it, 20, 21. Yep. Um, we've given up 21 points on, on uh, I think it was one occasion. Everything else has been, uh, no, we've given up 21 points twice. And everything else has been, um, you know, on the teams. So I think our defense has been very consistent. Uh, you know, we've given up a few big plays, but not nearly as many as we had uh, the year before. And uh, and we're also creating some turnovers. So um, that's that's kind of our theme. Uh, you know, we want to uh, eliminate some of these big plays and, and get some big plays for ourselves. And, and you've, you've been around this conference long enough. Um, you know, and we'll talk more about your game coming up later on. This will be my last question. How do you see this whole swag race shaping up? It seems as if once one team gets in control, then another team. Uh, you've been around it for a while. How do you see the rest of the swag season playing out? I try to tell everybody this at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, this, this, man, this, this, this is truly, truly, truly exciting. I'm excited about all this, all the coaches that are involved. You know, when you get up here and you play uh, swag play, it, it, it shows how our conference has evolved into a very, very, very competitive uh, 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 conference. Uh, we got guys uh, that are being well coached all the way across the board, and every week everybody has to bring it. If you don't, that's the week you're going to lose. And I mean, I don't care who we're playing against. Valley's going to get somebody this year um, because they play they play hard and 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 they're well coached and they play hard. And uh, when you have those kind of combinations, I mean, it's happened like that all the way across the board. I, I'm just excited about how this conference is going right now, how how competitive it is and how guys are each week. You know, you got to check the scores and see what's going on because guys are getting after guys, and that's the way it should be. Is, is it too early for me to ask you about Birmingham? I'm just Much. I'm just <laughs> good, good talking to you, Coach. All right, same thing. <laughs> Coach, how does the short week affect your preparation uh, when you've got a you know a quality team coming in? Well, one, number one, you don't get as much sleep, but you know we're 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 really blessed because we we were able to have a, a game at home, uh, and it is a short week. And uh, our last week game was at home; it was an early game, so you know we it is short, but it could have been shorter. So we're going to take advantage of that, try to get some more work in. Um, of course, some film work in, uh, but everything becomes heightened uh, as far as time. Man, you got to really, really, really watch your time um, and and make sure the kids understand it. And I think they do. And uh, you know, just come in here and try to do the best you can. Um, and and kind of, I use the term kind of grind because um, everything has to be moved up. Uh, so you know, you just kind of grind through this week, and uh, uh, hopefully you can get through it, and then you'll be able to uh, get a little time off. Your offense seems a little more diversified. You found nine different receivers uh, against Valley, and, and Isabel got a chance to play a little bit. Uh, are those important things going through the rest of the season? Absolutely. I mean, you know, you always want to have a chance to play two quarterbacks during the course of the year and not for, be forced to play them due to injuries and things of that sort. So just it's good to get guys on film, showing them what they're doing wrong in game situations, get their, get them in the game, get their heart pumping a little bit, and get them to understand the speed and the tempo of the game and the urgency of games. And, uh, and then you can always talk about it, but there's no greater teacher than the actual game itself. So it was great to be able to get these guys in. I love it when we're, when we're spreading the wealth around, if you will, uh, you know, guys are catching balls all the way across the field. So um, hopefully we'll, that's a trend that we'll be able to continue. And uh, 
that's a good thing for us. Uh, Coach Jones, Reggie Benson with the Huntsville Times. Good morning. Hey, Reggie, good morning. Uh, look, uh, Texas Southern's defense really gets a lot of the attention for that team, but what are your concerns uh, from an offensive standpoint for them? Uh, I'm trying to understand that question. Are you talking about what are we concerned about? Yeah, what are you concerned about yeah, concerning Texas Southern's offense, correct? Oh, man. Why are they going to hold the ball forever? You know, you're going to have very limited opportunities against this team, man. Every, last week they, they held the ball for something like 38 minutes. Um, uh, you know, there were some mistakes on special teams that ended up costing them some points. But for for a while, Nick and Tuck, they played Jackson State. It was the same way. Uh, and um, either Alabama State and Jackson State aren't. I mean, they're not just two of the best teams in our conference. They're two of the best teams in all the country, man. And uh, this team was playing them tough until a few mistakes was made on special teams that kind of uh, – change the whole complexion of the ball game. So uh, their offense is going to be a, a, a time-consuming offense, very physical, and they're just going to try to beat you into submission uh, on their offensive side. they got got a quarterback that's real versatile. they got a couple of running backs that's physical. They can hurt your big offensive line. And they got some good receivers too, man. So uh, our defensive unit is going to really, really have their hands full um, as far as trying to slow this unit down.